Hello and welcome. So when I started looking at ways of saving money for my Warhammer armies, I noticed Games Workshop can do things that can be quite surprising. Now, we all start collecting demons of the inch box, having secret models, or having a full army from one Horace Heresy Tactical Marine box, or enough spare parts to create powerful units from cheaper models were ways that Games Workshop surprised me in just saving money. And there's other ways as well, like having spare parts from Scourge and making a winged Autark. So, there are many ways of these doing this. Like, and sometimes they can be, Games Workshop can also make changes which make boxes more financially cost effective. Now here's an example, the Armager box. The previous price rise took it from £45 to £52.50. Now that is quite a steep climb, but what makes this more cost effective is it went from you having to buy just two halberds or two raw blades, the box now contains enough bits to make both. So you can have two halberds, two raw blades or one of each in the box. No, so what makes this more cost effective? Well, the old boxes means you'd have to buy four boxes to have two complete squadrons. And then it would still leave you with two models extra. You know, you'd have eight models, but you'd have two, four. basically you'd have one of each type left over. Now, the new box means you can buy three boxes and that gives you two full squads of both Halverines and Warblades saving you £37.50 and you have no leftover models so this is great for Imperial Knights as points and points effective too and it is a small army so where you can use one inner squad but if you want to do like a combat patrol a combat patrol like I said you would have four models and that would take you over it so you'd literally have a model you couldn't use now you have plenty of models the exact amount of models you can use in a combat patrol. Well, two combat patrols, and you know, and I like that, it's very clever. Now, you also got the Black Templar combat patrol box. The box contents tells you it has a marshal, a crusader squad, intercessor squad, and an impulsor. The Black Templar upgrades brew as well. Now, that brew is what helps you save a bit more money. Instead of the 18 pound that half an intercessor box you would have saved, you could save a little bit more and make them assault intercessors. Plus, the assault intercessors look more thematic with their chained weapons. <laughs> anyway, only joking, there is actually enough bits on that sprue to turn the intercessors into sword brethren. They, do look, they don't have the robes and stuff, but they do have the war gear. Now that is where the big saving can come from. The Eldari, or more accurately, the Holoquins. See, I wanted to do a video where I could save money with a Aldari Combat Patrol box, but cheaper, you know, like I did with Death Guard Thousand Sons and Space Marines. You can't, don't even bother trying. However, if you get the Void Weaver and a troop box, there's enough bits to make a solitaire for your Harlequin army. This will save you £17. You get a free model out of it. Okay, what's next? Orcs is Orcs, right? So, in spending £30 on Orc Boys, Orc Boys comes in box of 10s. Go over to the Age of Sigmar page and get a box of Savage Oryx for £35. Give these Oryx, Shooters and Choppers. Did I mention the Savage Bo Oryx box has 20 models, saving you £25. So there you go, like, if you, if you, like, Orcs are Horde armies, it makes them expensive anyway. So, double your money, double your model count with the Savage Oryx, and there you go. Also, if you're in that sort of mood, you can convert a box of odd boys into knobs, and this will save you £27. Knobs are in a box of five, and that's £21, where odd boys are a box of 15 for £36. Now, finally, the Dark Angels. Now, especially Ravenwing bikes. Now, if you get the Ravenwing bikes, it'll cost you 30 quid. That's £4 more than a abnormal squad. Yet, yeah, let's continue this. Now, it nets your squad of Space Marine Bikes, as I said, but it also gives you the Dark Angels Vehicle Upgrade Sprue. Now, that sprue is £9.50, so you're saving £5.50 straight away on this box. 
Like, no, it's not that. It's not much. I know. Sorry. But would it help if I mentioned you would have enough bits to convert a land speeder into a talent master? Which means you can make a Raven Ring Force for £89. That's a HQ, three elites, and a fast attack. And that's a whole squid less than a combat patrol box. If you get a land speeder, the Raven Ring Bike Squad, and the Raven Ring Command Squad, or if you go for £110, you can have an attack bike too. And what I would do with a Raven Ring Command Squad, make one a champion, one an ancient, and one an apothecary, you have the bikes. And of course, you'd have your land talent master as your HQ. And of course, you've got enough bits left over on the attack bike. So it's a nice rounded army too. And that is your wavering army, which means also you get all the extra wavering bits and pieces and rules to go with it, which makes it super cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it highly entertaining. I found it entertaining to make, as I always do. And with the research and everything else, I enjoy you guys immensely. If you want to further save money, then go to Wayland Games. Free deliveries after £20. I'm making it sound like an advert. Why not? And link down below. If you like comics like I do, because they're great, good for Ben Planet. If you like me and the comic I made, that's down there too. And my t-shirts, which are kind of weird, a little bit strange, and just my own artwork. I drew them all by my own merry hands. And if you like me, there's Patreon as well. I really need to update my Patreon to bother you. Like, I never post on it. I don't even know why. I have it, but I don't post. Yeah. So, burning this video out for an extra minute just because of algorithms. Also, I'm going to post this, like, I'm going to do it as ending of this video all the time now. I'm going to put this video game ending at the end. If you like the look of that, just say, I like the game down below. And I may actually release it on the Xbox. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, so like, it's uh, it's like pre-alpha at the moment, and something I'm working on. So if you like it, say I like the game, and I may just release it properly. I won't do any form of Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and all that. I will make it. I'll pay for it and everything myself. So if you like it, go ahead ahead. And if you do like it, if I get enough people saying they like it, I may actually post a link so you can play the alpha build. Which would be super cool, wouldn't it? Like, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Enjoy your hobby. Save yourself some money. And have a jolly good time. Thank you.